Sebastián. to work with Seymour Stein, a, oh, I wish I spoke French. Anyway, Lynn, talk slow and maybe somebody will explain it or next to you. Or, anyway, and I wanted to be on Sire Records from 1989. Yeah, because like American companies, they fired everybody and brought in the accountant. I know you don't know what I'm saying, but... I always figured, you know, yeah, accountants know a lot about music. Not. But this one poor big guy, he was sitting across from me, the new guy, he was an accountant, in 1989. And he looked at me and he said, What is that you're wearing? <laughs> right? And then he said, Why can't you dress more like Katrina and the Waves? <laughs> and I, I like that group, but I don't want to dress like that. So, you know, I thought to myself, I want to be on Sire where people are still, you know, creative. Anyway, to make a long story short, oops, sorry. Um, it's not short anymore, but, um, I finally did get to work with Seymour Stein, um, just this past year, and I'm on Sire Records, finally, and I just want to say, if you understand, that you should never think it's ever too late to do anything. You know, me and Seymour talked about, um, see, right there, that was bad English grammar. Could you imagine what I do to French grammar? Oh, my God. Anyway, um, and he sent me these songs, and they were all the beginning of rock and roll, which is what I've been singing most of my life. And um, this one song is a song by a guy I didn't even know, Ray Price. And um, I realized that uh, I... I was kind of singing like this before you knew me when I was in a band called Blue Angel. And I did rockabilly. And anyway, so this is kind of country music when it was right at the beginning where country and rhythm and blues kind of matched. Anyway, it goes like this. It's called Heartache by the Numbers. <laughs> 